Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to look at sample size calculation for a cohort study. A cohort study is a study design where one or more samples, which are called cohorts, are followed prospectively or retrospectively and subsequent status evaluations with respect to a disease or outcome are conducted to determine which initial participants exposure characteristics are associated with it. So in this case we have a, a two groups of interest, one which has been exposed to the exposure of interest and another one which has not been uh, exposed to the exposure of interest and this one is the comparison group and the one that has been exposed is the group of interest. These two groups are followed over time and then the expected outcome is measured for the two uh, different groups and then comparisons are made. So as a study is conducted, outcome from participants in each cohort is measured and relationship with specific characteristics are determined. So the advantages of a cohort study, uh, subjects in cohorts can be matched, which limits the influence of confounding variables. Standardization of criteria outcome is possible. It is easier and cheaper to conduct a cohort study than a randomized controlled trial. There are some disadvantages of a cohort study. Cohorts can be difficult to identify due to confounding variables. No randomization, which means that imbalances in patient characteristics could exist. Blinding or masking is very difficult for cohort studies. Outcome of interest could take time to occur. Now, the, to calculate the sample size, there are several requirements. So you need to know the relative risk for developing the outcome of interest. This relative risk will help in determining the incidence of the, ex, the outcome of ex, uh, the outcome for the non-exposed group. The decision power, uh, you need to know who, how to, to measure the decision power and most studies have set this at 80%. Determine your confidence interval. Again, most studies set this at 95%. You need also to obtain estimates for these variables so that uh, you can be able to calculate the sample size and to obtain the estimates you need to search in the publications uh, for previously done studies of a similar nature. So to calculate a sample size uh, we need a formula. So I did a thorough search in the publications and obtained this one formula which uh, is straightforward where n is the sample size z alpha is the uh, the probability of obtaining the z score at alpha and then we have the z score at beta and then the probabilities of the ex the exposure are uh, generating the outcome as p and p1 so taking the estimates, uh, Z beta at uh, 0 0.84 and Z alpha at 1.96, we, we approximated M to be equal to 1 since the two groups will be matched 1 to 1. Uh, P1 was set at 0 0.032 and P0 at 0 0.04192. Alpha was equal to alpha and beta was equal to 1 minus power. So I did the calculation using R where I fixed the values M was equal to 1, Z beta was equal to 0 0.84, Z alpha was set to 1.96, P naught was set to 0 0.04192 and P1 was set to 0 0.032. So writing down the formula 
in R, I evaluated it as such, and then eventually I obtained my sample size as 11,525 for both groups which were matched one to one. So this one implies that each of the group had to have 5,763 uh, for each group, that is group A and group B. There is my reference. If you need more information, you can search that document and it will give you an in-depth uh, insight on how to calculate the sample size. Thank you.